What's happening folks? Welcome to episode 11 of Street Notes. Starting off today outside Union Station, it's a lovely sunny day. We've got this penny cab driver with a flag on the back of it. Right off the bat this guy does like a gesture on the right hand side and I thought it might amount to something but it's a little bit, a little bit busy in the background I guess. And as I continue to try and work this, this girl in a pink shirt comes along doing tricks on our BMX. So start photographing that, trying to include all of those different elements so we get lots of pink in there. And this comes together okay. I still think maybe I would like to be closer to the BMX. She comes back standing on the top of the handlebars, so I try to frame her within this penny cab along with the flag as well. The flag blows off a little bit too far, creating a little frame, uh, but it just... It's still not, not quite right. I didn't really get what I wanted. Moving on, I was walking through this, I think it's called the Milk District or something like that. There's a bunch of people taking like Instagram type pictures. So I got a quick shot of this girl posing. There's lots of shadow behind her and I figured there was going to be a good sort of light and shadow thing going on. I quite, I quite like this, like it's a pretty simplified photo. I like the red things in the top there. Not, not too mad about it. This restaurant is the first time I've seen it really busy and this person's standing up with a hat on, really well dressed, very fashionable looking and there's someone else with a hat in there, there's just this overall vibe with this scene. I like the fire thing in the middle that sort of splits the frame in half. On the left here you'll see there's these two girls coming along and one of them is like doing her hair up in a bun or something and there's shadow all behind her and I like this photo not exactly sure why, I just like the shape that her arms are making and then there's this like dark area that creates this whole sort of graphic shape and then we've got that light section outside that storefront with people in some bright coloured clothing and yeah I just kind of just kind of like this one. This is back downtown and this I don't know who started this fight I don't know but someone tried to finish it anyways and this kid falls over and the other kid tries to kick him and completely misses and I was not sure if I should keep shooting or not, I kind of wish I had because he got real close to me while he tried to attack the other guy. Uh, but overall, not really a serious fight, didn't look like anybody really knew how to throw a punch, so wasn't too worried about it. Here we have this young girl that's inter interestingly dressed and I think they were selling earrings or something like that to fund like a dance group or dance show or something like that. And these two guys got excited because someone left them a dollar. They started throwing it around. There was three of us photographing it, but um, I left that one for Eddie more than anything else. I got this kind of weird side shot. All right, this is on another day. I've got the X Pro 2 out this time instead of the X100V. This guy was on this corner a while, but I didn't get anything good. I can see all these people in red tops over on the right side of the frame. There's one person out of the frame as well and I expected that they would be the sort of interest of it but actually this scene became more interesting as I was sort of shooting as I was walking up to it. With the person on the uh, right hand side in red kind of blocking the frame off there. We've then got a parent and child sort of in mid stride. The kids looking behind and then in the red strip in the middle there's a lady sort of framed out who's doing something with that stroller. And then in the target doorway, we've got the guy carrying two bags out. Everybody's in their own little section and framed out. I don't know what it is, but I, I like this picture, even though the light's terrible and there's not anything super interesting going on. This photo is trash, so moving on. This one is also trash, so we're just going to keep moving on from that and pretend it didn't happen. I thought these builders would be interesting. I don't think the light was quite hitting properly or I just needed something more. It's really just four guys standing there. I've always wanted to make something with this love sign and there's a free COVID testing site in the background with a blue blue awning over the top. We've got the red bus with these red sneakers that are passing through there as well. And it's, it's a little bit messy, kind of has a lot of colour going on, which I quite like about it. Two people in mid stride, we've got the person in blue pants and the blue cooler, so there's a lot of like matching colours sort of, but I don't know if it's there yet. I think I need something more, maybe someone closer passing by in the foreground. This kid drops the hat, it was a unicorn hat, and I shot it as he was picking up and I mean it's not great, I did this blindly because it just happened suddenly, but 
there's four red sneakers in this shot which is kind of interesting and the red sleeve sort of helps a little I don't know what I thought was going to happen photographing this penny cab. The guy just kind of looked at me, uh, but there was nothing else going on around him, so it's not good. The guy on the left here was dressed really nicely in a suit, and as we got to him, he asked for a dollar, and I realised that it was a guy who had uh, who had gave a dollar in the past, and he was not dressed like this before, and he looks like a million dollars. So, who am I to judge what his situation actually is? But he looks damn good for someone who's asking for money on the street. Following this couple here, I thought that maybe I'd get a good hand-holding picture or something and then they sort of separate like this for a second and I was shooting through that moment uh, but they just came back together there and this is this is fine, it's not, it's not good, it's not great though is it? I thought this van might be interesting if we could get someone walking past in some more sort of interesting clothing, maybe dressed in white or dressed in blue. I was telling the guy in the van what I was trying to do and he said it was fine. Um, but this is what I got and uh, yeah, nothing else more interesting happened unfortunately. I love these prism things that, that architects use or surveyors or whoever it is and it doesn't matter what direction you are, the centre of the prism will always be like right on your eyeball and obviously this is right on the camera but it's just kind of creepy thing to be walking past and it is like perfectly dead center of whatever dominant eye you're looking at it with. Now here in the distance I could see this girl with this gigantic box. She seemed like she was struggling with it and I thought maybe there would be an interesting or slightly quirky looking shot here and I don't really know if it does look quirky. I thought maybe it would look like she was wearing the box or something but I think just from the angle I was at it didn't really work like that. But either way, it's a different thing to see on the street. Yes, I did that for the camera. So in today's video, you'll notice that I started off with the X100V and then I switched over halfway through to the X-Pro2 and that's because I was shooting on two different days and I didn't get enough footage over both of those days to make just one constant video. I did get some footage of another thing that I'm going to turn into another video but that that'll that'll come later. The annoying thing was that I did get like three or four photos that I think were pretty good or at least good enough to add into the video or what I would add to Instagram or something uh, but I screwed up the GoPro and did not record a whole bunch of it uh, so that was kind of annoying so that's not in there but what I think I'm going to do is keep those images and not publish them online anywhere and um, maybe save one or two of them for a future print thing whether it's the 2021 zine or maybe a book in the future or something like that because I think at least one of them is actually pretty good and I would want to I would want that in there uh, but we'll see over time if I still like it in a few weeks or months but yeah I feel like I'm waffling a little bit so I guess I'll end the video there thank you very much for watching like and subscribe if you haven't already Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.